Hi everyone, welcome back to another video from eLearning Portal. To continue our series of videos, we have installed Moodle now. We've set up the email account. We've also set up the time zone. Now let's install a free theme on our Moodle installation. Come, let me show you how this is done. For our next step, we will be installing our Moodle theme. It's a free Moodle theme that we will download from the Moodle's plugin directory. And this will increase the user experience or the UI of our Moodle site. So let's go to our Moodle directory or moodle.org. So type in moodle.org, press enter on your keyboard, scroll down, right at the bottom you'll see under downloads, click on plugins, In your plugins type, select the drop down list and scroll to where you see theme. And this will load all the current free Moodle themes. For this exercise, we'll be using the Academy theme. This is a free Moodle theme. And if we click on that name, you'll see that you can learn some more about the theme as well as look at some screenshots about the theme. We'll be installing this theme for our new Moodle site. Okay. So depending on the version of Moodle you have, you need to click on versions. And here are all the current versions of Moodle. So depending on your Moodle installation, and you'll find it when you go to your Moodle site, click on Site Administration, and then click on Notifications. When you scroll down, you'll see there's your Moodle version. Mine is Moodle 4.0.4. Okay, so let's go back and find 4.0. It's currently 4.0.2, but 4.0 will work. So let's download that version and it will download to your downloads folder on your computer. Go back to your Moodle site. We can close this now. So this is my Moodle site. I'll click on Site Administration, then I'll click on Plugins, and then I'll click on Install Plugins. Once here, you'll see Choose a File, or we can drag this downloaded zipped file within this drop box here okay so all you need to do is drag this downloaded file to this drop area here and release it it will upload and from here we can install it okay so let's click on install plugin from zip file This will take you through the validation process. You can click on continue. And now you need to look at the status. If the status is okay, you know that your server environment meets all the minimum requirements. If it doesn't meet the requirements, you'll see um, the area here will highlight as a pink highlight uh, and you'll know that you need to provide attention or give attention to that area okay so mine meets it i'll click on continue so let's close this here okay so here you'll see the academy theme will be installed so i'll upgrade my moodle database now Okay, and there you see success. So the theme was successfully installed. So let's click on continue. And now you can go into the settings and modify the theme. I'll just scroll down and click on save changes here. And then on this screen as well, I'll scroll down and click on Save Changes.
Okay, so our theme is installed. So let's activate our theme. So let's go to Appearance. So first Site Administration and then Appearance. Under Appearance, you need to select Theme Selector. And then we are currently on the Boost theme. So we need to change the theme by clicking on Change Theme. Then scrolling down and where you see the Academy theme, we'll click on Use this theme. Immediately you'll see the changes take effect. You can scroll down and click on Continue. Okay, so there's our new theme. We can click on Home. And we see now our new theme is installed. The next step to setting up our Moodle site is to put our site in maintenance mode. Let's click on Site Administration. Then click on Server. And then you'll see under Server there's Maintenance Mode. Let's click on Maintenance Mode. And you'll see it's currently disabled, so let's enable this. And then click on Save. Now why do we do that? So we put our site in maintenance mode so that no one else except the admin can access the site. So once I log out now, you'll see a message is provided that our site is undergoing maintenance and it's currently not available.